Hi, I'm Marcia Moorfield, and I'm Archives Officer at Ingenium. Ingenium is the Crown Corporation that includes the Canada Aviation and Space Museum, Canada Science and Technology Museum, and the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum. Ingenium's library and archives preserve and make accessible the library and archival holdings of all three museums. We have two library and archive locations that are open to the public by appointment. Today, I'm going to introduce you to one of our archival holdings located at the Ingenium Centre, the Canadian Pacific Steam Locomotive Drawing Collection. Canadian Pacific Railway, or CPR, is one of Canada's historic rail companies. The first to construct and operate a transcontinental line, the company still exists today. Ingenium preserves a collection of steam locomotive drawings created by the company's mechanical department. The collection dates from 1881 to 1960. It was donated in 1996. CPR's mechanical department created and used the drawings to build and maintain the company's steam fleet. Before the drawing process began, the chief mechanical engineer determined the design requirements. Once determined, the drawing was first produced on paper, then traced on linen. All drawings were done by hand using a triangle and compass. When completed, the chief mechanical engineer would sign off on the drawing. Copies were made of the drawings through different reproduction methods. Copies were then sent out to Canadian Pacific shops throughout Canada. The drawings were often revised over and over or they were retired when the locomotive themselves were retired from service. The collection is broken down into three parts. The first series consists of 25,066 technical drawings of various sizes. These drawings are blueprints, Van Dykes, or ink on tracing paper or linen. The second series is a card index with around 50 meters of cards the department used index cards to organize and track the drawings. The third series consists of 27 booklets, a partial set of drawing lists issued for specific locomotive classes. This was another way CPR organized and tracked their drawings. The collection is requested from all over the world, primarily by model makers and for restoration projects. Ingenium provides on-site access to the collection, and we can provide copies to researchers for a fee. We are in the process of slowly digitizing the collection and hope to start making the collection available online later this year. For more information about the collection, please contact BiblioArchives at ingeniumcanada.org.